Hi everyone, this is Bea from Responsive Muse. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to get a live chat into your Adobe Muse website. When I mean live chat, I mean a chat where, for example, if you have a support team or you want customers to directly contact you and not using a contact form, you can use this chat. So I'm going to use Zopim. Well, it's formerly, formerly was Zopim and now it's called Sandesk. So we have different options here. I'm going to pricing so you guys see what you have to do. So you have to sign up and here you have different options but what I'm doing is I'm trying the free version okay. So just sign up and once you sign up you're going to enter your dashboard. So this is what you're going to see okay. So this is very 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 easy. What we're going to do is we're going to this is our home yep we're going to widget. Okay, so all this code here, this is what we're going to copy. But first of all, I'm going to appearance. So here you can actually customize it. You can get different colors and you can change the layout. You got the simple one or a classic. I'm gonna keep the simple. Top title is support. Let's put uppercase S and let's change the color. Okay, so we can choose the window size. Um, I think I like medium. And you can choose the position if you want bottom left or bottom right. So I'm going to leave bottom right. And uh, mobile widget, uh, you want to overlay window or tap pop out. I think it's, I'm going to leave it here and overlay window. Okay, so now we can do the, what, what we can customize is the chat badge. So. I think I'm going to keep this one over here and right now we can change a different color yeah let's leave it like this and let's say chat with responsive you can actually also upload an image but I'm going to leave it like that this play line is live support over here ask us anything just say start typing. Mm, you can also choose your own avatar. Message style speech bubbles or simple lines. Yeah, I like the speech bubbles. Show avatars and offline live message. Yeah, so all these options here are for you to customize it. And you can save the changes. Okay, so whenever you're done, what you have to do is just copy this code over here. So I'm going to copy it and bring it into Muse. So I'm going to object, insert HTML. I'm going to copy the code here and click on OK. So this is the chat widget over here. So no matter where you place it, we have already said that we already tell this widget in the settings that we want it to appear always uh, at the bottom right. So I'm going to preview this. And let's see how it looks. Okay, so this is our chat over here. So I'm going to say hi. And this opens up. So what you would do is once you get into your dashboard, you see here you have one request. So this is how you will know when your visitors are talking to you. So here you can say hi to you. So let's go back to the preview and see how it works. Okay. So hope you guys like the tutorial and hope you find it useful. So thank you very much for watching.